For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got some explosive passing plays for you guys today out of my New Orleans Saints ebook. If you guys don't know, I just put out a full breakdown of the New Orleans Saints. Uh, one of the most heavily requested offensive playbooks every year for me. I've been doing the Saints pretty heavy for the last couple of months. It's been one of the meta playbooks pretty much every year. And this year's no different. There's some really great passing plays in this playbook. Great running plays as well. These plays here work on current gen and next gen. I will show the differences in this video. I'll have links in the description so you guys can skip forward to current gen if you're on current gen or whatever, you, whatever you're on. Woo! If you guys want to see more plays out of the Saints offense, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Formation itself is the single back wing stack. There's some amazing pass plays. Plays that work on both current gen and next gen. We'll do like we always do. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put them all in our audibles. The halfback zone week's already in there. Uh, one of the other best plays is obviously going to be the stretch. And then we'll also put in uh, the jet sweep. Flanker spot, which like I said, it's very glitchy. One play touchdown against current gen or next gen. Uh, defenses. Then I'll also put in the second play, which is going to be the PA Fork, which this play is a Swiss Army knife. You can home run and you know create very big plays against a lot of different defenses with this play as well. So we're going to start off with the halfback zone week. On the defensive side, we're just going to go random 4-3 because I think they have the most diverse uh, version when it comes to 4-3 plays. As always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEAH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below is your discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's already the cheapest coins on the market. So this particular play here, this is probably going to be run best against defenses like cover two, uh, man and zone. Uh, basically because the safeties are so far back. I'm not sure what this is, but it's probably a cover two. Uh, one of the reasons that this formation is so good is because these receivers here typically pull apart uh, whoever's supposed to be in this gap. That's why this play is going to have so much success. If I motion him across, I thought maybe that gap would fill. As you can see right there, it does. Uh, as the DT basically just goes right over the guard now. So that's the reason that this is such a success successful formation. It's because these two receivers are stacked right here where they are. It really, for whatever reason, creates this lane pretty much every single time so we're always gonna pretty much have that uh, and if there's a linebacker like if it's a dime package or a, or a nickel package or something like that a lot of times the linebacker will be out wide to these guys as well making it a very easy run so we're just gonna go we're gonna run like this one time typically that guard is my lead blocker as you can see right off the bat we get a very big play Tyron Matthew will probably keep you from scoring a lot of touchdowns in this game because he's such a good safety but let's go and let's see what happened on the play it's not as simple as it looks number one pre-snap read very easy I want to make sure I have a gap here but ultimately this guard acts like a fullback he will typically double team at the point of attack which you know seals that hole another thing we have really want to watch for is it's also really good if this defensive end is out wide like this because this guy here is just going to stone him stand him up and basically create that instant gap now obviously if this linebacker shoots the gap i'm going to be in trouble but that's what's so good about this guard he typically after he gets that first block passes off to the next level and then you can see here i mean he gets a really good block freeing me but ultimately he didn't have to do all that i would have gotten through that hole regardless just as long as he gets hands on that guy so here's another opportunity this is something i mean you can make some adjustments too if i really want to i can motion this guy across give myself a uh you know an additional blocker i don't find it's necessarily 100 percent important but you can see by doing that creates a lane outside of him which i probably wouldn't have had on that particular play that particular play you can see based off of the alignment i kind of have a guy i mean i'm heading in this direction but there's not really the gap that i want he's kind of going to get in the way so bringing that guy across to give myself an additional blocker to basically seal that edge and take it around those guys basically changing where the hole is, is is a really smart move so you can see right there we have multiple areas that we can attack if i didn't do that i probably would have had a very skinny lane to try to get in between these two guys and that wouldn't have worked out anytime you have a look like this you have a spread defensive alignment which you'll get a lot like i said that two wide receiver set a big part of the reason right here we still have a linebacker in that gap but we're going to make sure that this guy gets off and attacks that next level anyway there he was kind of slow to get off but it didn't even matter he didn't even get to the next level i just basically took it wide you can see how consistent of a run this can be here we have that look, but we also have a look where there's an extra safety in the, you know, it looks like it might be a cover four. You got an extra defender in the box. So this is a perfect opportunity to go with the stretch or the jet sweep. It's really up to you. The stretch is probably best against cover three and cover four. The jet, the, the jet sweep is also, but on a look like this, I think it's best to have my fastest guy running it. This looks like it's probably a man coverage look. And typically when you get this motion, the man coverage guy doesn't have time to follow across. So I'll take my fastest guy around the edge and just get as much as I can. I, I got 
probably close to 10 there. So here's another look. If you have them in tight like this, probably looks like a man cover one. This to me is probably your best look against man coverage. Against man coverage uh, and against cover three and cover four, this is gonna have a lot of success. So we'll go, we'll go with that jet sweep one more time. You have the fake, which, you know, right here, like I said, I'm just using my speed to get outside of that. If I have, if that defender is in tight, to the box like that, that's a perfect opportunity. Here's another one, he's in like that again. I know that I have a super fast receiver. I could probably get outside of anybody, including a, a you know great player like Tyron Matthew. As you can see, I can just basically sprint to the edge and we're gonna have a lot of success. Sometimes that guy will get caught up in the trash and it'll be even easier, but you can see we're averaging 10 plus pretty much every time. Now here's a look that I could just flip this play. Since we have a hole right over the center, we could use this like a dive, uh, which I wasn't using previously. And then you can see, I mean, it doesn't really put me right towards that gap, but I could get back into that gap. So just keep that in mind. Now I guess a look like this, which is a cover three look, you could still use the jet sweep, but you don't have the option to motion anybody across. The, the jet sweep acts as the motion. So I pretty much used that up, but you can see the cornerback is still very successful. The cornerback takes himself out of the play by the time he recognizes what's going on, you have a big play. You also have the option though, to go with the halfback stretch. Now if you go with the stretch, you can flip this play, which you can't do with the sweep. You can obviously run us to a couple different directions, and you can also add yourself an additional blocker by motioning this guy across. Typically, when you motion tight ends, it doesn't shift the formation. Like if you motion across a receiver, it'll shift the formation. Let's go and let's show that real quick, um, just to let you guys know that that's typically the best way to go is by shifting a, a tight end. But you can see if I do this, it completely shifts the formation. Now you have a safety outside of your tight end. I can still run the play like this. It'll still have success. You can see the safety pretty much takes himself out of the play, but it completely changes how I run it. So to me, it's best against cover threes just to run it to the receiver side, motion across the tight end. We already have, um, you know, two on two blocking out there. Now I should have somebody that can really seal that edge and get me outside. As you can see, you know, once again, the corner I can still drop back. It still gives me an easy 10 yard run. Now we're going to start off with the PA4 because this is probably the most explosive and most versatile. Uh, we're going to pick that. On the defensive side, we're going to match uh, with cover two. We're going to start off with Tampa two and work our way back like we always do. Now this is a one play touchdown against a lot of different defenses. Uh, cover two is probably the most surprising because you would think that based off of this play that the safety would pick it up, but they don't. All you have to do, put the B route on a streak and that's gonna make this a very glitchy play against a lot of different defenses. Now you're gonna see here, I gotta roll out a little bit, but this X route here is just gonna get right over the top of the safety. This is an easy 50 yard, 60 yard bomb that I can complete against just about any uh, anywhere on the field. Let's go to the replay to see what happens. The reason this play works is because there's no receivers on the right side here. The only receiver on the right side here is this tight end. The way that's, that Madden typically works is they typically split the field in half, the safeties especially, where this guy will be responsible for the deep half over here, and then this safety will be responsible for the, his deep half. But since there's no receivers, he has to react to the only receiver on the side, and that's this check and release crossing tight end. So you can see right here, as this tight end comes across, so does the safety. You can see he's kind of mirroring that look. And you know, that's basically what gets him caught. As you can see right here, once this guy crosses the midfield mark, he's way out of position and we're getting a very easy one play touchdown over the top. This is something that's gonna be uh, consistent whether you're running this against cover three, cover four, doesn't matter. It's going to be the exact same look where this guy's gonna be the home run one play touchdown. So we'll go ahead and run that again. We got Tyron Matthew lit up just to show that it will not make a difference. There's a couple of adjustments you can make on this play as well. Number one, you can take the running back away. He doesn't really do anything. And against cover two, you can run it as is. You could leave that B route for a possible check down, although it doesn't really help to be honest with you. But that's something that you can do if you need to. This play works regardless without that streak or with that streak, but it's just best to have it on a streak based off the fact that you need that streak and all the other variations. So if you think it's a cover two and you guess wrong, then obviously it would have been better just to streak it so the play still works. So that's pretty much all you have to do. You just gotta buy a little bit of time. They said Tyron Matthew lit up, doesn't matter. It's still a very easy one play touchdown as he just runs right past him for an easy score from just about anywhere on the field. So really good play against cover two. How about cover three? Um, I don't think this is the best cover three one play touchdown I'm going to show today, but it's still a really good one. So we'll pick cover three sky. So exact same setup. All you have to do is put this B route on the street. The only real difference is you probably want to run it from a hash mark. You don't have to, but it definitely helps to run it from a hash mark to the open side of the field. You uh, you also have this, I mean, against cover three, you got this check down here too, by the way. Cover three, cover four. It's not going to work too great from the hash mark, obviously. You can see I run out of bounds, but that's something that you're going to want to keep in mind. As far as this play goes, though, the RB route is going to create the same issue for that cornerback 
that he did for the safety, where now the cornerback is going to react to basically nothing and follow that guy across, which is going to make this a very easy one play touchdown for me on the other side of the field. Now you can see right here, might have to move the ball back a little bit. As you can see, we barely got into the end zone here, uh, but you can see, I mean, I don't know, maybe he didn't catch it. So we are going to move the ball back. So I'm going to do this one more time. This is a 60 yard bomb, man. You're going to need to, uh, to be, you know, you're going to want to roll out shorten this throw and you're going to want to run this from the uh, the open side of the field and give yourself as much space as possible when it comes to running this play as you can see right there we, we get that one play touchdown play also beats cover four and when i say cover four i mean cover four drop contain uh beats it very differently than most cover four one play touchdown so we're going to pick that next so same setup just hit that streak that's all you really have to do i cancel my play action i got my you know my check down there but uh, you just basically have to wait for him to get to a point where he's he's even with uh, with Tyre Matthew. And then I didn't really get the best throw there, but you can see he just still gets inside for a very easy one-play touchdown. I'm not exactly sure why um, the safety reacts the way that he does, but he he almost acts like he's still chasing that streak. I mean, he's not. He could have easily mirrored this guy a lot better. That's why you basically wait till he basically gets to this point where he's even with the safety. Because at this point, I'm sprinting. He has to turn, and that's where the acceleration uh, boost comes from that I get to basically give myself uh, the advantage to go and track this ball. I do that one more time. We're running it from the short side this time. I feel that that helps when it comes to this receiver getting across. Uh, and I also feel that it helps with him getting the separation. So just remember, the cover three one-play touchdown is best to run from the open side of the field. The cover four is best to run from the shallow side. This play is also very good against man coverage, but we're going to focus on man cover one uh, because this is obviously going to be one of the best plays when it comes to scoring a one-play touchdown. Now, I find that this play has some really good man beaters like the tight end and the B route especially. This B route here is a very good man beater. As you can see, it's going to get outside of that pretty much every single time against any man coverage. But why would I go there when I could just hit a home run? So let's go and let's do that exact same setup. Nothing really changes. Uh, the tight end's a decent check down too, but you can see right here, this X route is just gone again uh, against another different coverage. So we've home run just about every single defense in the game with this exact same route. And cover two man is no different. Exact same play, exact same setup. We are now going to home run cover two man as well. Exact same play, just streak this B route, although realistically you don't have to. It's just like cover two zone. You don't have to follow. You don't have to do that. You can basically just leave him on that out route check down. And then this X route here is just going to get behind him once again. As you can see, we're just getting over the top of the cover two safety because of the same principles that we applied before. So to recap, the PA fork, we've home run just about every single defense in the game. Cover two zone, cover three zone, cover four zone, uh, man coverages. Every man coverage in the game has been a home run. We haven't done cover four quarters. So let's go and let's do that. And let's find ourselves a cover four quarters slash cover four palms. Let's see if it has the exact same result. No adjustments needed this time. And this play is a natural cover four quarters, one play touchdown, cover four match, one play touchdown to the exact same route by a mile. As you can see, we basically just hit a one play touchdown against everything. So next up, we got the flanker spot. This is a very glitchy play as well. Uh, very glitchy play against cover three. So pick cover three sky. It's another one of those plays where you really have to run it from a hash mark if I can get this to work again. I don't know. Since the patch happened, for whatever reason, that doesn't work very well. But all you have to do is put the X route on a streak and put the A route on a streak, and that's it. Although you have to motion this guy out. That's the one thing. I'm going to block my running back. This is pretty much the look. Uh, this is going to be an easy one-play touchdown to that X route. Up the cover three seam. Uh, we go, and there we got caught. Uh, but, you know, it's whatever. I, I'm going to run that again. Maybe I threw that ball a little bit off timing. Uh, but, yeah, this is the play. You just got to streak these two guys. I blocked my running back. Um, the A route since the patch, I noticed, has a slightly weird altered uh, angle, and that might be part of the reason that that uh, has that issue where the um, – it's just not as quick, but you can see we're, we're going to still get this this play over the top. So very easy one play touchdown. But what makes this play special? I mean, it's a one play touchdown against Cover Three, but it's also a very big play in old gen consoles or current gen consoles. So now we're back on current gen. And we're going to have the uh, this exact same play, the flanker spot. Although this play here is probably the easiest one play touchdown against Cover Three when it comes to current gen. In the entire game so this offense here got to be the easiest one play touchdown against cover three and current gen console so all you gotta do is streak the x route streak the a route i'm gonna block my running back for additional blocking but that's all you gotta do you gotta run it from a hash mark uh, that's the most important part. If you don't run from a hash mark, you won't get the separation. But on this particular play, you don't even have to worry about pass leading. That's been one of the biggest issues is you typically can't pass lead. But you can see how big of a separation gap we get. And it's all because of what this, uh, this, this corner route is doing over the X route. Now, we'll go to the replay 
uh, real quick. Like I said, this corner route here is what pulls that, that cornerback across. This is a concept I've used in a lot of different plays that I put out, uh, especially in my ebook, where typically you don't have this corner route, and that's the reason that this, this works so much better. You typically just have this receiver running by himself. A couple of things you have to know before you run this play. Like I said, you got to run from a hash mark. But number two is you typically have to wait for this receiver to cross what I call the 31-yard mark, which is 31 yards away from the quarterback. The ball still has to be in the quarterback's hands when this guy crosses this area right here, which is, I'm at the 50, so I have to basically wait for him to cross the 19 or the, you know, the 20. Not 100% sure what the exact amount is, but for whatever reason, EA blocked out the ability to pass lead between the 20 to 30 yards away from the quarterback. Uh, I think it's because of this channel, if you want to know the truth about it. I think it's because of places like this, but I have no real evidence to support that. So you can see right here, going back to Lamar Jackson, like I said, it's very close. I'm throwing that ball right at about the 30 yard mark. The ball is still in the quarterback's hands. He's crossing the 30 yard mark, and that's when it allows me to get pass leading back. So at that point, he's basically pass lead away from this free safety you know, to the left, and you can see I have a good five to 10 yards of separation between the cornerback and the safety. But what makes this play so good is you can mess that up and you can still have success as I as I accidentally uh, sent my, my my running back on the street. You can mess that up. You don't even have to get that pass lead. Because of that corner route, that pass lead is irrelevant. You can mess up the pass lead and you're still going to get that one play touchdown because of the crossing route keeping the safety at home. So this is one, like I said, this is the best play because you don't even have to really time it. Because of what the RB route is doing, he basically keeps that safety at home. And because of what that B route is doing, he pulls that cornerback away prematurely, giving you the easiest one play touchdown of the game. Like I said, I don't even really have to get that pass lead right. I th I'm throwing it early on purpose and you're seeing i'm still getting five yards of separation so for all the people on current gen that are having this issue with cover three with pass leading this solves all of it so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see a full breakdown of this offense in a future video i typically like to try to put these full breakdown offenses out on like saturday and stuff like that because when people are typically home they have more time to watch longer videos. Uh, I can do that. Or if you just want to see more Saints, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching that Unleash It Out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.